Hey Virgo, how are you doing? This reading is for Virgo for the week of June the 10th to the 16th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. What is going on for the fabulous and most magical Virgos? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. What's coming towards you? The Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. What you are focused on is the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana for the Fixed Signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Four of Pentacles, and your outcome is the Fool, Major Arcana for Aries. Okay. Virgo, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is being flexible, being capable. You can multitask, going here, going there, and going everywhere. This is my all work and no play makes Johnny a doll boy. There also could be things up in the air at this time or a little bit rocky, confusing. And or you have a choice here, a choice or a decision about weighing up your options. Should I go left or should I go right? What are the pros and cons to this situation? So write down the pros, write down the cons, get brutally honest with yourself if it's working for your highest good. And if you have more pros, proceed forward. If you have more cons, scrap it, let it go. In your present time, you have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is relax, recovery, rejuvenation. You could be taking one or two days to yourself, maybe travel, travel to see family, friends. But peace, quiet, quieting your mind, quieting your thoughts, you know, running yourself a nice bath, drinking herbal tea, slowing down your thoughts. Meditation could also bring about answers and clarity. If you're weighing up your options and it could be between a job situation a relocation and move maybe you want to be closer to family and the knight of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy and the typical court card for virgo is the knight of pentacles so you're definitely in your element you're crossing your t's you're dotting your i's you're being very thorough you're putting in the work and you like quality. And it is an energy of moving slow. Slow and steady wins the race. This is the night that gets over the finish line. So finishing something that you have started. But proceeding with caution. This is both thinking twice and cutting once. So being very precise. And or it's asking you to stop the all work and no play and to take some time and space to do something fun for yourself five of pentacles you could be worried about your finances but worrying about your finances or worrying about some kind of hardship maybe it is an energy of making yourself sick by working too much so slow down slow down you have time Ten of Cups of what's coming towards you. Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. Commitment, relationship. You know, there is some kind of loyal people around you. And you are definitely a loyal, warm-hearted, kind, caring, be of service individual. Let's see what this Ten of Cups is. Proceeding forward towards commitment but there's caution here and the eight of swords gemini libra aquarius energy and the eight of swords is self-imposed prison feeling like you're stuck tied trapped in some kind of situation feeling frustrated feeling like your hands are tied it is also anxiety worry and thinking about some kind of situation to the point where you could definitely, 
you know, you are not your thoughts here, Virgo. So, you know, making something that has been quite suffocating or smothering. And this could be a job situation, maybe something you had a lot of love for. But now you're finding it really restrictive or restraining. Because that's even the same thing here with this four of pentacles in your blocked and challenged position. It feels like smothering or possession or somebody gripping and holding on to you like you are an asset. You could also be dealing with somebody who is very selfish, self-centered, very greedy. And this is about hand your fears over to the universe. What you fear is actually what sets you free. Same thing about this boxed in energy. And in your focus, you have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is something fated and destined for you on your path. Or catching your lucky break. The karmic wheel spinning in your favor, depending on if you take action. Or there is some kind of unexpected twist and turn. Maybe things have been too mundane here for you or too comfortable or maybe somebody around you is trying to box you in because see how she's like behind closed doors not gender specific and then your outcome is the fool so you think you are heading in one direction and you're like well this makes me feel like I'm suffering in silence or suffering in some kind of mental prison, in a commitment though. And your outcome is like no risk, no reward. Are you going to risk it to get the biscuit? Let's see what this unexpected change. Somebody could be really grinding your gears here, Virgo. And it could be, you know, a friend, a family member, a committed partner. And the Knight of Swords. Wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Some kind of unexpected communication coming in out of left field. Or you here, Virgo, the get up and go energy. This is fast moving energy. The drive, the willpower, the determination. That can also be quick travel. Or quick, this came in unexpectedly. It could be the universe intervening, trying to get you out of some kind of comfort zone here. Or if somebody has been gripping and holding on to you like you are a possession, which you are. You are a value. You are an asset. But it feels like smothering. And it's making you extremely restless. This can also be an energy of you needing to handle something quickly could be some kind of paperwork. That Knight of Swords can also be very blunt and pushy. Just watch the impulse here. Because if you rush a process, you really could miss a step if you have to do some kind of documentations. Or if it, if it is to do with a vehicle... Read the fine print. Yeah, five of swords. And the fives in the tarot signifies change. Something has to change. Something has to give. And you are going to be the change. But there's something about holding back. Or like I was saying, thinking twice and expressing once. But that's very sharp communication. Or an unexpected, out of the blue, twist and turn here. Like, you thought you were heading in one direction, slow and steady, and boom. It's like, you're off to the racetrack here. And see here in this picture, the happy family right here. But really, this is what's going on. So there could be some kind of arguing, belittling. Or somebody very controlling. This could be a person who argues for the sake of arguing. Pointing fingers. 
conflict, strife. This is to pick and choose your battles wisely. Lose the battle and at the end of the day, you will win the war. Cut your losses. Not all is lost. If anything, this is a gain for you. And it's fated and destined for you on your path. Let's see what this Four of Pentacles is. Four of Pentacles can also be saving up your money to do something significantly. Like relocate and move. Or possibly even purchase a new home. But there's some kind of like stagnancy. This is my stuck energy. Eight of Swords is a stuck energy. And then all of a sudden it's like unexpectedly you have to move fast. Things have been quite slow. It's like something you need to handle quickly or get off your chest. And the two of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. It's like things have been up in the air. Or it could have something to do with your finances, balancing the budget. And again, taking a step back, it is a withdrawn energy. Four pentacles is physically withdrawn. And that's an energy of all work and no play makes Johnny a doll boy. So you have two cards of too much work and not enough alone time, not enough Virgo time. And again, it's just asking you to withdraw, withdraw, take some time and space for yourself, think about it, and write down the pros, write down the cons of this situation. And get brutally honest with yourself. The star? Something, again, this is optimism, hope, faith, renewal. And being really optimistic about the situation. It's very positive. The star is aligning for you. But do you trust that? It's like a change of course. Wishes granted, wishes fulfilled. Or some kind of unexpected news comes in, which actually gets you out of the slow and steady pace or the mundane. Let's see what this fool card is. This is being spontaneous. You having little to no baggage, little to no worry. This can also be something to do with travel. It's like getting you out of the house or getting you out of a routine. And the Emperor. Wow. Major Arcana for Aries. I also read that as Scorpio. Bossing up, leveling up. This can be something to do with your finances. Or a new commitment, work and career. That can also be a person of authority or somebody who owns their own business, a CEO. This person means business. Or you're going from a night and unexpectedly there's communication that's coming in and there could be some kind of new offering here on the table, work and career or some kind of new uh, financial opportunity. The emperor can be firm but fair decision. So this can have something to do with law and order or seeing the bigger objective of things. And this Aries energy is very dynamic. It speaks of being bold, being brave, being confident. Or somebody is either inspiring you Very attractive energy. It's all four kings in one. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is a reflection. Taking stock of where you have been and where you want to grow financially or even in a connection. What do you want to come with you for the long haul? And what do I need to scrap and let go of? 
So is this worth investing in? Am I getting anything if I'm giving any? If you give here, Virgo, are you getting anything back? How about this situation? Is this working for me? Should I scrap this idea? I'm looking at these hearts on this girl's dress here. It's following your heart. What does your heart truly want? Right here, heart, heart. Wow, that's a really beautiful outcome. And you even maybe can feel this or your intuition is definitely on point. There also could be like an energy, like I said, it kind of feels boxed in. And you need that freedom. So this could be moving into some kind of new commitment connection. And it's coming in out of the blue or unexpectedly. And or you're taking your business elsewhere. Getting a better position. Or a different connection, commitment. Asking for angelic support. My angels respond when I am open and authentic about how I feel. And just going back to the heart space, how does it make you feel? Well, I feel like I am locked in a prison in some kind of commitment or connection. Things have been up in the air. I don't feel like I can express myself here. Because the Four of Pentacles is suppressed feelings. Bottling up your feelings of how you really feel. And when you bottle up your feelings, Virgo, you can explode. And that could be like unexpectedly exploding. Greeting wellness. Balance is the key to my life of infinite miracles. Yeah, you're going to want to take a jump at that. Receiving elation. I am born of infinite joy. And you are a muted sign. So sometimes when people are muted signs, they can definitely adapt to a situation. But then again, is it the situation that you want? Or is it a situation that somebody wants for you. Fair man. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Virgo, you could be the fair man. Or you do have even a father around you. Or somebody who is a father figure. Quail, get back to the basics. And getting back to the basics means anything complex in your life must go. It speaks of alchemy, simplifying and neutralizing things in your life. Fool card. Meaning having little to no baggage, little to no worry, or this person doesn't have a ton of baggage. They have their shish figured out. frying pan troubles and accusations and just going back to that five of swords which is blaming and shaming and pointing fingers and belittling bullying you've been quiet about this and again just suppressing something suppressing something isn't about acceptance i feel like you've tolerated something for too long and it's like the Wheel of Fortune coming in where it's like an unexpected twist and turn in your life, but it's so much better. And that could be job and career or a relationship. Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. Who's the troublemaker here, Virgo? Bull. 
do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. This is about you forging the way. And here at the bottom, lobster, financial pinch. So you could be staying in a situation where you might be doing all the work. And this could be doing all the work in a relationship, doing all the work in some kind of family situation. Like even if you work with family. And the four of pentacles could be like, somebody doesn't give very much. They only give or they give something to you, but they have a motive behind it or an agenda. Like they'll give you something like breadcrumbs. I feel like you're tired of the breadcrumbs. And that's why things are developing slower than molasses for you. You're going to make your mind up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.